Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report on the big freeze on money markets and how it affects us here in New Zealand. Earlier this morning, the Reserve Bank Governor, Alan Bollard, talked about how some parts of the interbank markets internationally are jammed up and how he's watching this closely because of the problems it might cause. So let's look at what those problems might be and how it affects us here on the ground in New Zealand. All this is about is how banks fund the lending that they make to us. Currently, banks in New Zealand have lent us, that's households, businesses and farms, about $291 billion. Now that includes about $160 billion worth of mortgages, and it's funded by about $84.5 billion worth of short-term foreign debt. So that's debt that every 90 days or so, and some of it, about $20 billion of it is actually overnight, Debt, about $84 billion of it has to be rolled over every 90 days. So every 90 days our banks go into the international credit markets and say to the bankers on the other side of the world, or sometimes a bit closer, can we please keep having that money that we've already lent on to our customers in New Zealand and hopefully that will be rolled over and at a reasonable rate. What's happening at the moment is that money is not rolling over easily. The market is essentially frozen. Now, not all of it. In the New Zealand and Australian parts of the market, there is still, still trading going on between the banks. They do pretty much trust each other, but it's going on at higher rates. And of course, there's also interbank lending that goes on between Australian and New Zealand banks. They're actually the same. And the rest of the world, now, that really has frozen up. Now, this is a concern a couple of days of, of frozen up markets isn't a particular problem. But if it goes on for weeks or potentially months, then we have an issue. And certainly at the moment, the banks don't trust each other. There's various ways you can measure this. Uh, if you look at what's called the LIBOR rate, which is the London Interbank Offer Rate, and how far above that is the safest form of debt, that, that gap or that spread is called the TED spread. And last night, that rate hit over 3 to 4 percent. And in fact, for some banks, particularly investment banks, they were paying 10 to 11 percent above the safest type of debt. Now that's prohibitive. If New Zealand had to roll over that $84 billion worth of short-term foreign debt, at the rates around in the market at the moment, their funding costs for that chunk of the money, about 30 percent of the money that we have to lend out, that would rise in some cases to 11 or 12 percent. Now not all of that would be passed on to us in our fixed mortgage rates because funding costs are made up of a bunch of things. There's a bit of a black box there. But it is a particular issue that would increase the funding costs for the banks. They would in, th in turn then have to pass that on to us in higher fixed mortgage rates. And not all the same though, the big Australian banks are the ones who have been borrowing overseas. Kiwi Bank and some of the other smaller ones haven't borrowed overseas, they fund from local mums and dads here in New Zealand through the term deposit market. Another thing to watch for us over the next three months or so is about $5.1 billion worth of, worth of Eurodashi and Eurokiwi bonds will mature. So this is Japanese and European investors who came here for our good interest rates. But we're perhaps a little bit worried that over the next few months, as the markets remain in turmoil, they might decide to not roll over that debt. So they'll ask for their money back essentially. That's about $5 billion and that's a potential worry. Now the worst case scenario of course is that the debt can't be rolled over at all and our international creditors if you like come to us and say uh, we want most of it back but not all of it and we want you to start looking at how your uh, own debts are, are funded and what sort of collateral is behind those things. Some people are saying that will mean the banks might go to people with their mortgages and say, well, provide a little bit more cash up front, or uh, maybe we won't roll it over, we, we might want you to go to another bank. I'm not so sure that would happen. That would cause chaos in the market, and for most of the banks, they'd much rather just work with their existing customers. It will, however, mean that it won't be so easy to get lending from many in the market. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special report on the credit freeze and what it means for us here in New Zealand.